welcome to this is like an update episode because I was like consistent and then I fell off but I only fell off because I'm super super busy and I know you guys understand that because y'all are human beings and y'all have the same issues that I do uh, I just got done shopping at Kroger picking up some groceries for the week today is Sunday um, I did not go to work today, which I'm very upset at myself for. Like, I'm so upset that I didn't go to work. Um, but yesterday I was with Maddie and um, I was originally gonna go back to my mom's house. Let me move this, hold on. I was originally gonna go back to my mom's house and go to sleep there. And then, you know, her the AC is out at my house, at my dad's house, so everybody else went to go stay like with their friend or like even my dad left and went to go stay with um friends and maddie was like no like i feel like it's not gonna be as hot in the night like we can stay there and she didn't want to stay she didn't want to be home alone so i was like fine like it my job's closer to my dad's house anyways i was like fine i'll spend the night like i'll, I'll just thug it out with you and literally i had leg day yesterday mind you that so i was so tired i was so tired my body was literally exhausted and um i try to sleep like i take a shower like a cold shower because when i get into the house it's so stale it's like kind of like not like a sauna obviously but it's hot in there um it's super super hot and i was just like oh my god Am I, are you shaking bad i'll hold it um and it was super hot and so I'm gonna finish the story and then I'll continue the story later, but I mean, I'll update you guys later. But so I get to sleeping and we have like this fan on, but this fan is blowing essentially like hot air because it's hot in the house. It's not like it's an AC unit. And I literally like, I, like I could not fall asleep. I, an hour went by and I was like, dude, like why am I not falling asleep? And then I started freaking out cause like my heart rate was really, really low. And I was like, what if my body's like overheating? Like I just started thinking the worst and I was like, I'm not gonna be able to get up in the morning. Oh, what is this? And um, I'm not gonna be able to get up in the morning. Sorry, because um, you know, I'm gonna be freaking tired, especially after leg day. Like my body already felt so weak. And then three o'clock came around, I still couldn't fall asleep. And I was telling Maddie, I was like, dude, I can't fall asleep. Like I don't know what to do. And I was like, I'm gonna have to call out of work tomorrow. Like I'm not about to like, I'm not about to go to work with like two hours of sleep. Like I, I don't want to say I don't care about my job that much, but it's like. If I'm tired, I'm beat, like, it's fine because I know that they've dealt with that situation before. Like, if they're short staffed, they're short staffed, like, they'll get through it. Like, me, on the other hand, like, I'm going to be physically drained and then I'm like, why am I essentially going above and beyond, like, putting my body through only one or two hours of sleep because I had to get up at, like, six? Why am I going to do that and then probably not even make good tips or, like, probably, like, people are going to be mean to me. Like, you know, I'm at the stage of my life where I'm like, okay, it happens. Stuff happens, you know. I don't know. It just, I didn't go to work. So, yeah, that was, that's the story. Um, but I did get my camera. So, I'm very, very, very excited to be starting to film on that. I want to get, like, a back for it and obviously everything else. And I also got my nails done, if you can't tell. I mean, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I got my nails done. I decided to go with this off-white and then she added some like marble to it damn people are in a rush today and uh yeah i really love it nails by viviana nails i think it's nails by sometimes it's nailed or nails i don't know but she always does an amazing job i only went to her twice grandma only went to her twice i will never go anywhere else like i love all my nail techs that i have been to like i like you guys are awesome but viviana's nails are just different they last and I don't want to jinx myself on this, but they last a good month and a half. Like, swear to you, they do. And even when I took them off after the month and a half, they were hard to take off. Like, they didn't just pop off. Like, they literally stayed on there. I don't know what glue she uses. I don't know what she does. But whatever it is, Viviana is working. So, got my nails done. Um, I'm going to be putting in videos from my past vlogs, uh, but just not as long because long story short my macbook got stolen i don't want to go into too much detail because it doesn't doesn't really matter anymore but um yeah so that's why i haven't been doing the podcast i have updated kind of but not really um 
so I haven't been doing that and then that's why I kind of haven't been posting either because all my videos my vlogs were already edited and ready to upload I just had to like kind of do some final touches on them and now it's like I have to start all over so that's why I'm kind of just making this video updating you guys and then I'm gonna be putting in like short little clips from the vlogs they're not gonna be as detailed as the other ones were but I definitely want to still show obviously I want to use that footage so some of it's gonna be for my zodiac dates and then some of it is just gonna be like random videos um, people are asking me are you still going on dates with the zodiacs and I'm like no well honestly I don't know if you want me to like I would do it if like you guys comment like yeah like let's see the videos but like I just feel like right now I feel like this is too bumpy let me wait till I get the freaking whatever Starbucks. okay so I'm just gonna hold it because literally like my car is shaking um that's just how it is but oh about the zodiac dates yeah um if some of you guys I mean obviously like I'm not doing them anymore like I told some of my friends I was like I got burned out from dating like Right now, I'm at a point in my life where I really don't want to go on dates. Like, I just feel like dates take a lot of my energy and a lot of my time. And right now, I'm focusing on a lot of different stuff. But, I mean, one date a week wouldn't hurt. Obviously, like, one out of the week is not, like, bad. Um, it's just that these guys want to talk to you for, like, a week before they take you out. And it's like, I have to be consistently talking to them. And I'm already a terrible texter as it is. So, for me to, like, go out of my way to, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just terrible. But, if you guys wanted the videos, I would make them for you. I still have my dating app, surprisingly. So, I could do that. Um, but, yeah. Sorry about the phone shakiness. That's, like, so, that's, like, annoying to me. But, um... If you guys are still watching the video thank you and i'll be putting in the vlog clips now and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i hope to make some better videos for you in the future and let's just go on with the vlog. okay so it's getting dark i lied before we get to the vlog i just want to show you my coffee um i am going to go do cardio and abs today today is a active rest day so i'm just gonna be um i'm not gonna be running because my legs are hella sore from leg day so i'm gonna be um walking on an incline and yeah walking on an incline i may do stairmaster i might not I, it depends how i feel and then i'm gonna do some mobility stretches and abs and then we're just gonna go home and have like a good night of like a sunday reset um i gotta get these groceries inside but yeah now you can enjoy the vlog hi guys today i'm gonna be doing a little vlog um day with me um, I was supposed to wake up hella early and then I ended up sleeping until 12. It's about to be 2, so I've already ate. Um, I had my greens this morning and now I'm going to go to the gym and hit biceps, abs, and cardio really fast. Hopefully I can be back by, I hope, 2.30ish. Probably 3 I'll be back, to be honest. Um, I'm going to try to hurry though and try to be really quick. Um, I don't know if I'll film stuff at the gym, but this is just like a little day in my life, I guess you could say. Um, I wanted to already be back and eating my second meal, but it's okay. I'm gonna have to do cardio, you guys. I'm gonna just do the mile, honestly. Ready to dip. Guys, I'm done with cardio. That shit was brutal. Um, I ended up. Sorry. Hold on. I ended up doing biceps. They're a little bit sore already. Um, and then I did a little bit of abs. And then I did cardio. And I sprinted at the end, which was like, I always finish off with a sprint because I feel like it makes me feel really good. Like the adrenaline of like really pushing yourself. See, I'm like still out of breath a little bit, but it's also really hot in my car. Like I have the air on, but. It feels like the air outside is like way like harder to breathe in because it's hot, I guess. But um, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna shower and eat. I might eat first because I'm actually really hungry. So I'm gonna shower and eat and then get ready because I have a birthday party to go to. So I have to do that. Um, Hopefully I can still get everything done that I want to get done. Like um, I'm gonna meet up with Maddie later, probably meet at the party and then in a little bit like we we'll stay there for a little bit and then um we're gonna go it's on the way we're gonna go clean out our cars and then i'll probably end up going to the store with her if she wants to come with me because i have to get 
um, my collagen. I'm probably gonna order my protein online. And then I wanted to go shopping. I don't know if we'll get to, but if we do, I guess we'll just see. But um, I'll see you whenever I'm all dressed and ready to go. Okay, I know this looks ugly. Can I focus? I know it looks ugly, but it's actually not half bad. Um, it's chicken, and then there's pasta. I don't know if you can see, there's like pasta in there, and then cottage cheese. And then the sauce that I used is actually, I made it with yogurt. Um, so yeah, and it looks like a lot, but I'm about to finish it real quick. Okay, so I need to brush my hair still. Um, this is a fit, please. Don't look at my room, it's dirty. Um, pretty basic, ew. Um, I have to go though, so. Don't you hate it? Can you hear me guys good? Cause the air is blowing hella hard cause it's fucking hot. Because don't you hate it when you shower and then once you get out of the shower, you start sweating or like you go somewhere and you immediately start sweating? Like, no, I'm sweating right now and it's like not, not, it's not happening for me. So, to be honest, I may look for a new job because the job that I'm at, like I love it, I thought I did. And then, I don't know, just to see how quick they can just like, I don't wanna say turn, but like really show like their true colors, I guess you could say. Not like I don't deserve to be suspended because honestly, like I understand why, but it's the way, it's the way that they went about it. It's the way that they, they did it, like, I just feel like it was very unprofessional. <clears throat> and then for them to kick me out of the group chat, like what? For them to kick me out of the group chat, like that's actually weird, you know? Um, and then like, we're supposed to have like a hostess meeting, but I don't see like, I have the message, like it it says part of the message and then it doesn't say the rest. So I'm like, did do I not get to go to the meeting now? Like I'm confused. So yeah, and I told my friend and he was like, you just need to start looking for another job. And I was like, honestly, I should. But once I finish my course, I'm gonna have to look for a job at a gym. So I'm like, maybe I should just wait, but I don't know. But I'm gonna meet Maddie right now. We're gonna go to the party, probably hang out. And then I'll see you guys when I'm with Maddie, I guess. I'm reunited with Maddie. What is that on your face? I want some, what the heck? Kaylin has some too. Guys, this is the truth right here. They have Chick fil A sandwiches, but my diet, I can't do it. I already had cheat day yesterday. I know, look at the little windmills. Lauren made the cake over there. I can't zoom in because they're talking, but look how cute the cake is. I'll go get a zoom up on it later. Why is my dad okay? I don't know who has the ox. I don't know who has it. But this song go hard. Low key, I was gonna eat one of those. Or one of the wraps. <laughs> like, yeah. Bro, this song makes me feel like my heart got broken all over again. Hey guys, I left. We're leaving. God bless. God bless America. Huh? Well, why not get low key tan? Where are you parked at? Oh, you could just walk that way. I'm gonna go study at the park and she's gonna go do her own thing, I guess. It's already eight o'clock, you guys. It's late. I know. I wanted to go to get my car washed, but... Oh, well. The party ended. So basically, um, party's, party's over. So I'm gonna go to the, my first shop. I'm gonna go to the perk and study. Um, picked up a little snack. Um, really, really good. I'm only eating the chicken part though. I haven't had chicken so long, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and study at the perk. It's literally down the street. If you haven't been, it's such a great atmosphere to go like study, go like, it's just perfect. So 
probably sip on a coffee. I know um, I shouldn't be having. I'll probably get a matcha to be honest. Well, I don't know, honestly. I don't know. I may have to go somewhere else then because I really want like a good matcha, but not a lot of coffee shops are open. So I'll see what they have there. Um, I won't be able to wash and clean out my car today just because it's so late. And then I probably will have to go to the store tomorrow, but I'm probably going to just do studying today. I'm probably going to um, do my monthly budget or like my monthly like reflection and everything like that and just do everything that I can. And then tomorrow, so this will probably be like a two part vlog where I'll just mix it in. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys when I get to the park and I'm all situated. Yeah, I changed into my Nike slides because I am not wearing heels. Why do I have so many water bottles? Gotta stay hydrated in these temperatures. Okay guys, if you go to the park, you have to check out the balcony. It's like literally my favorite. Especially look at the sunset, you guys. It's beautiful. Um, So I got this signature seasonal matcha. It's like a blossom matcha. It has like rose um almond and something else and matcha so it's really really cute i love it a lot you guys i'm not even joking this matcha literally tastes so freaking bomb like it tastes so good i have no words Here we have it. This is probably one of the best. Good morning. Sorry, I forgot to say good morning. This is probably one of the best um, greens that I've had. KOS is pretty much up there as well. Um, the only thing with this one is that there is a lot of little gritty... I don't even know what that is. So it's just kind of like sus. KOS did not have that. Um, I will link KOS in there as well. It's pretty good. Um, they have a good flavor. This is a really great flavor though. Um, and I will link the frother, I will link the frother down below as well, um, because the frother is so powerful, makes it a lot easier. So, you know how I have that, um, mask still on? Why did I get a pimple? Like, why? So, I haven't been journaling as of lately, but I want to start it back up, so this is just a journal idea, um. I just write down my affirmations, gratitude, what I want to release, what I want more of, and then finally like a daily intention. fit we're going out in i look bloated um i'm wearing a jacket in summer why because i can um we're going to the store i need to change my shoes obviously but hey you guys i'm ready hopefully the sun's like not gonna glare because i'm gonna be annoyed does that look better i mean i could try to go back but today i'm going to go to the store um, we have a couple things to pick up. I'm probably going to Kroger and we'll see if I go to another store. I don't know yet. I kind of want to make it like a little shopping spree. I don't know yet. We'll see. I did a big girl purchase and I ordered my camera. Oh, so we finna find out what it's about. It's coming July 7th. So probably the next couple videos, I'll have that for you. But I probably won't be talking in the store. I'll probably film some footage, but that's about it. This is the truth. Ooh. Guys, how is it raining out here? 
it's like sprinkling. I don't know. It's so funny. So the boy just asked for my snap and I obviously gave it to him because he goes to my look, you can tell it's raining. That's crazy. Bro, okay wait. I'm gonna go on this side. So I just got back from the store. I spent a hundred dollars, which I was only supposed to spend 80, but it's okay because I left a little bit of room for my budget, so it's fine. But um, funny story, I ran into this guy that goes to the same gym as me over here in Dallas and he recognized me because he was like, you go to Planet Fitness? I was like, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, I go there too late at night, right? And then we just started talking, and then he asked for my Snapchat, and I gave it to him because his friend was literally right there, so I didn't want to, like, reject him. So I'm not that type of person, but um, it was just funny. But anyways, um, so I'm going to put stuff up. I still have all the stuff on the counter, so I need to go put it up. And then I'm going to make food, and then I'll probably head out again. Um... I'm really hungry. I don't know. Like, I need to eat something good. And I don't feel like making anything, but I don't have anything ready. So, that's my fault. So, I ended up making this. It's, like, ground turkey and then my leftover pasta. Um, I just really don't like how it has a hard time focusing. But, yeah. I'm going to just watch some YouTube videos while I eat have my water cup here this is from target it came with like a little tapa but i'm not using it right now i think i have something in my eye hold on i do it's like a fuzzy it's like right on my eye whatever okay guys so i just got is it shaking Okay, guys, I'm going to hold it like this in case it's shaking. Um, so I just got done studying at my dad's house. Um, I, yeah, I just had been studying, and then I finally bought my protein and other stuff that I need to get online. Um, should be here within a week, so I'm excited. Um, now I'm going to go wash my car and then hit the gym. So I'll probably film myself washing the car. I don't know because I don't like going by myself. What if there's, like, a guy, you know, so hopefully where I go at there's no one there I'm planning I hope there's no one there because I feel like everybody is out doing 4th of July things um and then at the gym I know there's not going to be a lot of people there because a lot of people are out celebrating on the lake doing something because it's the 4th of July weekend so hopefully there's not a lot of people but let's go ahead and get to cleaning my car because it's filthy this is the before let me just get the before hold on <laughs> It's so bright out here. Look how dirty she is. I'm so sorry. This is what I get for not bringing fucking quarters with me. I only brought six quarters and they each take five and I ran out of time. So what am I gonna do now? Just go to the standard car wash, I'm sorry. Look how sweaty I am. Okay, I'm at the car wash because this is not working out for me. Okay, I don't need my receipt. Fuck. That took forever. Wait. Looks like where am I going? I hate oh it's cold. I hate going to the automatics because I get scared whenever they're like telling me to line up my car or whatever. I get scared because then they're gonna look at me like I'm fucking stupid. They're gonna like this fucking bitch.
wipe down the inside. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate Have a good it. One. Thank you. Okay, foot off the brake, hands off steering, and wipers off. Okay, have everything ready. <laughs> oh, he gave me a um, a little wipey to wipe down my car, which I'm actually wanted to clean the inside of it. So thank goodness. It's like a little party. I always love my sunroof, so I can be like, Ooh! usually I have music playing, but um, I guess we're just gonna enjoy it. My car already looks clean. What the thing? Okay, wait. I. There's this other one where. Oh! My windshield wipers were on because they're automatic. There is this other one where it has like little lights and stuff. I think it's so fun. Oh. Let me not do that. It's just, I feel like my car is like not clean as it should be. And I really want to just make it clean because your environment is just what lowers your vibration if it's not a good environment. And that's why I'm going to vacuum it out too. We're done. I'm so happy that we did that because literally it's hot as hell. And you guys might be like, Lame, you're lazy. I'm not. You saw me put in the work. It just did not work out. And it comes with a free vacuum. Like you can't. It doesn't get much better than that. It says a five minute limit. Five minute limit, nah. Because she's a lot to clean. So I'm gonna vacuum her real quick. I'll see you when I'm. Okay, so tell me why I got so freaking hot and sweaty. Um, it's already 6.45, so I'm gonna go to the gym and have a good workout. Hopefully I'll be done by, hopefully 8.30ish, probably nine to be honest, the way I work out. Um, but I do have my headphones today, so probably I'll be good. Um, but I feel so good, like my car is clean. Like I feel like a brand new person and that's the end of it i do feel like that car wash like scratched my car a little bit like scratched the paint but i mean that's like the least of my worries right now about this car but otherwise it feels clean i'm probably gonna have to get new like inserts for the bottom just because they're like i just realized they're like hello um i'm hot i'm gonna take off my lashes i'm gonna go to the gym because i'm just ready to get a good workout Y'all, I really spent three hours hitting legs. I don't know what's wrong with me. But, oh my god, my car looks so clean. Wait, hold up. I've never seen her like this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another vlog of the Zodiac Dates Part 2. Benny, stop. Today, I am going out with Cancer. Yes, the Cancer Man. Woo! Benny, Benny's excited too. No, but um, <clears throat> yes, we're gonna go eat Italian food because he was like, I remember you liked Italian. I was like, thank you. But um, I just got back from the gym, so I look rough as fuck. So we need to be picking our outfits in my head mentally, and then um, yeah, I'm gonna just get ready, jump in the shower. I'll see you after that. Okay, guys, I'm out of the shower. Um, I already put my face stuff on. I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair yet. So I'll just keep that up for, I don't know where. Um, he just texted me, ooh, sorry. He just texted me saying like, hey, are we still good for seven o'clock? And I was about to be like, can we do 7.30? Cause after I get ready, I wanna study a little bit. And then I want to, um, I want to film a podcast. I know I've like been off my podcast lately. Let me put a shirt on, hold on. So I know this is a little bit much, but look how cute it is like that. Is this too much for the first day? I swear literally the other day, it's probably going to be up already. One of the vlogs that I filmed, I was wearing like a, it was like a crop top thing. And I didn't think it was honestly that bad. But then my sisters are like, what are you wearing? Like dad's going to get mad at you. And I was like, but he didn't. So I think he just like kind of terms with how I dress. 
because they were like this is a family event and i was like i'm literally not even showing anything okay guys what do we think um i just got done with my makeup i still don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair i used the little dot method from um tiktok if you can't tell that i'm have dots in my eyes um i'm probably i don't know if i want to wear shorts or jeans i'll probably like i said put on my pants i don't know and i also don't know what to do with my hair i might just put it half up half down like this um so i'm wearing these gold hoops i'm wearing this little chain i'm also gonna wear one of my crystals you know just to protect my energy because we never know what the intentions are on this date um so I'm going to study and film my TikTok, film, I actually do have to film a TikTok, but also um, film my podcast. So um, I will see you guys when I'm about to head over there. I'm excited. Okay, I don't think I'll have time to film my podcast. This is the fit. Um, it might be a little bit too much. Wait, hold up. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, these shoes are ratchet, but they're the only black shoes that I have. But I kind of like, they make my feet look skinny. Don't look at my weights and stuff. Um... This is the fit. I think I'm going to keep my hair up. I have earrings, like I said. I have my little crystal to just protect me. I'm going to wear my other crystals. But, yeah, this is it. Um, we're just going for pasta. Like, I don't really know. Like, I don't know if that's too much, but we're popping off either. Hey guys, I'm on my way. So, I'm excited. I'm, like, hiking nervous. This is my secret weapon. It smells divine, first of all. Supposed to dab, not rub. Hopefully, it's good vibes. He, like, when we're texting, we have, like, a good, like, funny, mutualistic. But that's what I said about the Leo guy. And let me give you an update about the Leo man. I might have to give you an update later because I'm going to be driving. But the Leo man, he, we ended up just, like, ghosting each other. I want to say I ghosted him, but he'll probably tell his friends that he ghosted me which is fine i literally don't care but he was just we went out on a second date me and the leo guy we ended up going on a second date and he was just damn see how you're going a little fast he was just a little bit too boring for me well i hate to put it that way but bluntly yes it was just not the the vibe wasn't well and even we told each other like the first day you always have a great first date because there's a lot of stuff to talk about and then the second day comes around and you really get a feel for the vibe of the person so obviously we didn't vibe together and i swear give me another leo man because we did not it was like my expectations were shot down because I, he, I told you guys, he does not remind me of a Leo. Like, he did not give me Leo vibes. He was very, like, just calm and relaxed and just very, like, yeah. And I was just like, you're not a Leo. Because the Leo can't stop talking. So, what's the problem? But I'll see you guys later. I'm going to enjoy my date, my pasta. So, yeah. I'll see you guys and I'll fill you in on the tea later. Guys, I have you like this because I think he's literally, like, in front of me parked. So I can't make it obvious, but hopefully it goes well. Um, I'm gonna text him right now. I hope I can park here. Midday check, guys. He's so fucking sweet. I don't want him to be part of the experiment. He's so sweet. What the fuck, you guys? I just ate so much, and we're getting dessert. What the? F okay, guys. So. I'm back home. We'll see how well it holds up. So I just got done with the date. Um, it was really <laughs> that's how it went. No, I'm just kidding. Hold on. Let me find a way to prop you up correctly. Okay, guys. So I am back from the date. Um, it was actually really, really fun. I feel like um it was better than the first date with the leo man which i was honestly surprised about um like i told you guys i went on the second date with the leo and it was just not as great as the first date um it was just more so like and eh, like the vibe really i really wasn't fucking with the vibe so but cancer man over here definitely definitely had like a i had like a better vibe with him and um the conversation really wasn't dry he was making me laugh but like not like i'm a very easy person to make laugh but like literally i was like cracking up i never freaking crack up so i just i had a really good time um i think it went well um 
And I literally, guys, I feel so freaking bad because it's like I'm learning all about these people's lives and for what? Like, you know, like, I mean, obviously, like, I think this is a good thing for me to, like, learn what I like, what I like in a guy, what I don't. Um, But it's really hard because I am, I am feel so, con like, I get emotionally connected with people. So then I start feeling guilty and I start, I'm like, damn, like, what if he's really liking me, really liking my vibe? And then I'm like, eh, like, I really just wanted to, like, just go on one day or, like, a couple dates and that was it. Like, I don't really see anything long term, which I mentioned that to him well i just mentioned that i really wasn't looking for anything serious so then i'm like cat you can't feel guilty for that like you already told him how you felt but um you know after this date like we really had a fun time like the food was freaking bomb like i got the chicken alfredo and it was so good like it was i want i ate the whole thing and that thing was big like it was huge and then we had a calzone um like a s'mores nutella it was so good like, I ate, like, three pieces of that, so I know I went way over my diet, but fuck it, we ball. Um, but, yeah, we had such a good time. Like, it was so funny, and then we walked around for a little bit to burn off some, which actually worked because now I'm not, like, f as full. But, yeah, we walked around for a bit, and I was, he's new to Dallas, so I was just kind of showing him, like, what to do for fun. And, yeah, we, I don't know, like, we just had a good time, like, it was chill, so I feel like I definitely go on a second date with him, um, and then I found out he's a Cancer, but he's a Leo Moon, I'm a Leo, so I was like, what the hell, and then he's a Libra Rising, guys, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is, I'm sorry, Benny, I don't know what it is with Libra Risings and Libra men, like, I always swear I attract or I gravitate towards Libra Risings or Libra Men and I'm like, this needs to stop right now. So I'm really excited to go on my, I need to find me a Libra Man because I miss Libra Men. Like, they're toxic but they just, I connect with them like this. Libra Men and Libra Rising, hands down, case freaking closed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Um, hopefully I'll get to go on a second date with him and just see what happens. But honestly, I'll rate the date like an 8 out of 10. I mean, there were some awkward things in the beginning. But like, honestly, I had like a really good time. It was really fun. I definitely got with him again. Um, the food was good. He was a gentleman, which I was like shocked about. I don't know why. I just didn't get that vibe from him. But he was very gentleman, like very charming, which is obviously because he's a freaking Libra. But I'm, I'm, my cat's sleeping and he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But um, I will let you guys go. Um, I hope to be posting more often. My life is pretty crazy right now as far as like me getting my shit together. But I'm going to record a podcast because I need to get back on track with those. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and just different videos that you think I should do. Or if you have any eligible people for me, send them my way. Okay, bye.